You want to get fabulously optimized in Minecraft. This is a performance-based Minecraft mod pack that focuses on, well, getting better performance and adding in graphic enhancements like shaders, things like that. As you can see, 65 FPS, over 400 FPS as possible. I've seen things even crazier than that. Supports most of Optifine's features as well. So really, really good, amazing mod pack. And uh, we're going to show you exactly how to get it in this video. In order to get fabulously optimized, you're going to need CurseForge. To download the CurseForge launcher, you want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below and this is our in-depth guide on getting CurseForge. It goes over everything you need to know. We're gonna be going over the basics in this video but if you want to like in-depth look at the launcher with like how to change settings and install custom mods and things like that this guide here will help you do that as well as the text guide down below. But once you're here go ahead and click on the download CurseForge button here to go to CurseForge's official download page. On this page you want to go ahead and click download standalone and when you do you may need to keep or save the file but it's a hundred percent safe to do that. While this is downloading how much from our company simple game hosting you can check out simple game hosting get the first link in the description down below the breakdown that xyz says sgh and start your very own server that you can play on using fabulously optimized one of the coolest things about the fabulously optimized mod pack is that you actually don't need to do anything server side to join a server so if you can join a server with a vanilla minecraft client you can join it with fabulously optimized without any issue it's really really cool and one of the coolest things about this mod pack and luckily not only can you set up a server at simple game hosting and easily join it with fabulously optimized if you wanted to use any other mod pack you can do that and and there are hundreds of mod packs with one-click installation. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ says SGH and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Installing CurseForge now that it's downloaded is actually super easy. All you've got to do is minimize your browser and find the CurseForge file that you downloaded. Most likely it's going to be in your downloads folder here. As you can see it is for me. And then once you've found it, just double click on it. And then it installs just like any other app. As you can see, we have the CurseForge Windows installer here. Click on Next. Go ahead and agree to their terms of service, assuming that you do. Click on next again, and now it's going to download and install. It's that quick and easy. Once it's installed, you'll get a desktop icon, and it should go ahead and open up right like this. If it doesn't open up, you can always use that desktop icon to open it. Now, there is a little intro here that can be helpful to go through. Some different stuff about, you know, how it supports my creators, which is amazing. Love to see that, and some of the other stuff that you can do with CurseForge. And then finally, it'll say get started here. It'll start to get everything ready, but you still need to make sure Minecraft is ready. Luckily, this is done within the CurseForge app as well. As you can see, it says Minecraft here, but it's not installed. Go ahead and click on it, and then make sure Standard is checked, and then click Continue. And now, it's going to get everything ready for your Minecraft mod packs. You don't have to do anything else from here in order to get Minecraft ready to go with the CurseForge launcher. And with Minecraft set up in CurseForge, you'll have this My Mod Packs tab, and it's where you'll land here. Up here at the top, you can actually search for Fab. You lustly optimized. If I've spelled this correctly, it will pop up. There it is, fabulously optimized. You can click the orange install button over here on the right hand side, and it will begin downloading and installing this mod pack. Now, if we go back to my mod packs here, we can see it downloading and installing. And once it's finished, there is one thing I want to note. It's not uncommon for fabulously optimized to have a beta version of the newest version of Minecraft. For example, by default, this is actually for Minecraft 1.20.4. If you didn't want to play this version, what you would do is actually go back up here at the top as well and search for again fabulously optimized right like so and then hit enter go to fabulously optimized and go to versions here then you can see all of the beta versions for example for minecraft 1.21.1 which at the time of recording is the most recent video if it's 1.22 in the future this will work and if you wanted to download this version you could do so you click install here and it would actually install the 1.21.1 beta version here and this will work for alpha versions as well if fabulously optimized is currently an alpha but now if we go back to my mod packs we have two of them we have the beta version for 1.20.1 and we have the most recent stable version for 1.20.4. We're going to play the 1.21 version by hovering over it, clicking the orange play button, and then the Minecraft launcher will open. Now you'll need to sign into the Minecraft launcher most likely, and it's 100% safe to do that. This is the default vanilla Minecraft launcher that you're used to using. You're just launching it through CurseForge, so go ahead and sign into your Microsoft account there. And then on the left-hand side here, go ahead and click on Minecraft Java Edition. Fabulously Optimized should be selected by default. Click play, click play again, and now Fabulously Optimized will open in Minecraft 1.21 in this case, or whatever version you wanted, 1.22, 1.20.4, whatever version of Fabulously Optimized you want, will now open in Minecraft. So on the service here, there's actually not really much way to see Fabulously Optimized installed, other than it does say it in the bottom right. But if we go to Options, Video Settings, you can very clearly see this is Fabulously Optimized. You can add shaders here, all of that stuff. But let's go ahead and quickly jump onto a Minecraft server, because as I said, this will work by default on any Minecraft server that can accept vanilla connections. That is obviously a vanilla Minecraft server, as well as a paper or plug-in Minecraft server will all work here. Of course, I've got a server set up here with Simple Game Hosting. We can double-click that, and it will join right on in. And from there, you can play on this server just 
like you can play on any other Minecraft server, run around, all of that stuff. You could add shaders to Fabulously Optimized as well. That would allow you to, you know, get shading and all that amazing stuff. But if we go ahead and press F3, we can see in the top left, our FPS is hovering around 300 FPS or so, 400 FPS or so, which is very, very solid. And uh, we might actually pass 500 here if we just stand still long enough. So there you have it. That's how you can get Fabulously Optimized in Minecraft. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, and we will see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.